everybody is concerned about whether or not their children are being t taught what is in their correct estimation uh, a racist ideology, whether or not they're having racism forced down their throat, whether or not gender ideology and sexual ideology is being forced down the throat of kindergartners through third graders. Look, there are certain things in politics I think you should never, ever mess with, and at the top of that list has to be people's children. Don't mess with my kids. Mm -hmm. If you do, you don't just lose me for an election, you lose me for all elections. So it's always interesting to me how anybody could ever buy into the idea that the Republican Party is the party of uh, the parent and education. Ever since the Education Department's founding October 17, 1979, under the Jimmy Carter administration, the Republican Party has been against the department as a whole. The Education Department exists to elevate the subject uh, to cabinet level status so that the federal government can play a better role in overseeing the education systems in all 50 states to make sure that they can get the assistance they need or that we're on par with the rest of the world. Republican arguments against it is that it should be left up to the states and that the expansion of the executive branch is a negative, when in reality, they just wanna minimize taxes at all costs and privatize the education system because no oversight over all 50 states' education departments is not more efficient. They just wanna privatize everything. You know, Will, in the midterm, what we saw last year uh, in Virginia was essentially uh, the Democrats were the party of the union, but it seemed like the Republicans were the party of the parent. And that's why the New York Times says, hey, pay attention to this. They claim to be the party of education and the family, and yet they're completely against reality. They're against the idea of climate change. They're against clean energy. They want to make sure that the petrodollar is maintained because, of course, if America controls the world's oil markets, then the world's a much safer place, a much safer place for who, you know, of course. They're against the idea of institutional racism being taught to children. We've got to ban critical race theory because they're teaching racism by teaching about it. We're learning how to be racist by learning that racism exists within the institutions of this country and that this is how the nation was built in many ways. Of course, they're against social safety nets, you know, any type of social uh, safety net program that could benefit families on the lower economic rung. They're against increasing the minimum wage, which of course would benefit families in a lower economic rung. They're against making health care accessible. They're against making college education free. The Republican Party is against anything that isn't private because that's all they do. They're just trying to privatize everything in the public commons. There was an idea that I think actually spanned both Democratic and Republican Party, and that was that the way to succeed in this country was through education, and that education's job was to give you the tools right. through calculus or through history. Now calculus has become less important or infused with for example, race ideology. So the Democratic Party has moved education from the tools of merit to the tools of social activism. I mean, listen, Betsy DeVos, the former Secretary of Education under the Trump administration, had never worked a day in her life as a public school teacher or within the public education department. I mean, everything about her philosophy is that education should be privatized because it's more efficient that way, when in reality it just protects her investments. Because this is what the Republican Party is all about. They have this philosophy that, you know, somehow if you're on the top of the rung, it's just because you're just better than everyone else. And if you ain't that, then you deserve to be there too. But ironically enough, you know, whenever the economy's crashing and, you know, all those big wigs who, you know, of course mismanage their money, even though they're always preaching about responsibility, guess who gets a bailout and guess who pays for it? All those stupid people who they say deserve to be where they are because at the end of the day, they're just looting and they're just running out the back door with all the money. So we know that the Republican Party ain't about no education and we know that the Democratic Party has a long way to go. But if there's any area for improvement for the education system in this country, it sure is does not lie within the GOP.